On my last video, I talked about a very cool plugin by Session Wire uh, that I use uh, to uh, work with my mix references and my Cubase sessions and also to record my videos using OBS. And I received several questions about my Cubase setup when it comes to work with mix references and also how to record audio coming out of the computer straight in Cubase using that same Session Wire plugin. So let's break it down. All right, so this video is not gonna be about the pros and cons on working with mixed references. I talked about that before. The only thing I can say, it does speed up my mixing workflow and it's a tool that I like to work with. I actually talked about that on one of my last uh, videos talking about mixing mistakes. If you wanna watch it, I'm gonna leave the link down below. Now, the way I work with a mixed reference track in Cubase is by using everything that Cubase has under the hood. So I'm not using a specific mix reference plugin. Now there's lots of these types of plugins out there. They are pretty good, but I just don't use them. So the way I like to work in Cubase is very simple. Uh, I first create an audio channel that I'm gonna use as my mix reference channel. On that channel, I will have a mix reference that I'm gonna work with during my mixing session, but I mainly use that channel to stream the audio coming out of my streaming service, which is Amazon Music, straight into this channel by using the Session Wire free plugin that I talked about on my last video. But first, let's go and open the audio connections window and make sure you have the control room active. If you have Cubase Pro and you're not using the control room, you are missing a lot, okay? So make sure the control room is open and once it's active, uh, make sure the outputs are routed to not connected, okay? So that is very important because from that point on, the control room will manage your main output, all right? And this is monitor one and it's set up to output one and two. So this is just the basic routing on using the control room. But what I'm gonna focus on is a QMix that I have created to be used for my mix reference track. Okay, I'm gonna show you how. Uh, if you wanna add a uh, Q-Mix, you click on add channel. There's four available stereo Q-Mixes in Cubase and you just create one. You can name it as you want. I just leave it to the default name. Make sure it's in stereo, click OK, and you're good to go. And on the right side of the project window, you will see, if you go and click on the control room tab, uh, you will see uh, the tabs uh, right here on the main. You will see the mix tab, the C1 tab, and the C2 tab, which are the different sources uh, that you can monitor from. Okay, C1 and C2, they stand for Q1 and Q2 that I have created right here within the audio connections. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna remove the second Q since I don't need it, and I'm gonna use a Q1 as my main Q for my mix reference. And I'm gonna make sure that the output of that cue goes to not connected, okay? And then I'm gonna have a straight in the control room uh, the as a source. I'm gonna have the mix, which is my main mix, and my cue mix also, that I can switch from one to the other. On my track, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select my audio track that I'm gonna use for my mix references, and I'm gonna make sure that the output of that track goes to no bus, okay, very important. I don't want that uh, audio to come out into my mix session. I wanna make sure it goes nowhere. However, if I open my channel settings window and I go on the, uh, on the Q Sense tab, I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna send the signal out of this channel to Q1, okay? So I'm gonna bring uh, that level to Unity Point. So I'm sending my full uh, signal to Q1 out of this reference track channel, okay? And then I can add any mix references straight on this audio track. And now to be able to listen to it, because now nothing is playing because the output is set up to no bus, what I need to do is just to switch from my mix source to my Q1 source. And there you go, I'll be able to listen to my mix reference. Uh, now on my side, 
what I do is I use a streaming service called Amazon Music, which provides high quality lossless audio. And that's why I like to use this one. And I use a free plugin that I talked about on my last video called Session Wire, which is gonna be used as a bridge between my streaming service, uh, which is Amazon Music, to Cubase, okay? So uh, basically what I'm gonna do is to insert the Session Wire plugin straight on my mix reference track. And I'm gonna select the Session Wire Receive plugin, okay? And from this point, if I open the Amazon Music app, I'm gonna make sure that the output goes uh, to the From SW, which is the Session Wire Receive audio driver, basically, okay? And you have access to this driver also uh, on your computer, on your full computer. So if you don't use the app out of your streaming service, uh, you can just do the same uh, using the output of your main computer, and that's gonna do the same. And from this point, all the audio coming out of my Amazon Music app, is going straight into the Session Wire Receive plugin. And that plugin is gonna take over that channel. So the minute I switch to C1, there you go, I'm getting what's coming out of this channel. So now I can go and listen to my mix and switch to my Q mix with only one click, okay? Which is very, very practical. Now, the thing that I'm gonna do though on my track that is very important is to solo save the channel. And the reason why I'm doing so is very simple. Uh, let's say I'm uh, soloing the drums, you know, the drum bus and uh, on my mix, and I'm switching to my reference. The reference will be muted. Okay, so to avoid this, I'm gonna make sure that I solo save or solo defeat this channel by keeping my finger on Alt or Option if you're on Mac and clicking on Solo. And that will make sure that this channel will always stay unmuted even if you solo another channel within the session. Now, if like me, you want to use a streaming service like Spotify or Amazon Music to listen to your mix references, go download the free Session Wire plugin. I'm going to leave the link down below. It's totally worth it. It's going to work on Mac and also on PC. Now, once I have that set up, what is important and that will speed up my uh, workflow when it comes to go from the mix to the uh, C1 mix is to create a key command because I can actually assign the switch between those two sources with a simple key command. So if I go up to edit, go down to key commands and under the control room tab, you will go down and you will see the select control room source. And this is where you'll be able to assign a key command to switch between the mix source to the Q1 source. And on my side, it's set up to control plus shift plus P. So that will switch from my mix to my mix reference with only that one key command. Even better is to assign this uh, to a MIDI controller like I have on my side. I'm using the uh, Monogram CC for that matter. And the way I have that set up in Cubase is I go under Studio, a Studio Setup, I have under Generic Remote, my Monogram CC, and I'm using MIDI CC uh, to activate that command. And that's simple. So I have it set up to a uh, reference under a uh, controller, and I'm using the MIDI address 39. Under device, I have to go to Command, Control Room, and then select uh, the specific command, which is Select Control Room Source. And that's it, that's all I have to do. And from this point, I only need to click on this button, and it's gonna switch from my main mix to my mix reference with only one click. And from this point, I'll be able to use all the tools that I have within the control room with my mix reference also, uh, like my uh, Spectrum Analyzer, which is Span that I made a video on, the Supervision Plugin by Steinberg, Tonal Balance by Isotope. So I'll be able to work with all these uh, reference type plugins by listening to my mix and also my mix reference. Now, if you wanna record audio coming out of your computer straight in Cubase using the Session Wire plugin, you will have to do things differently 
with a small tweak. Okay, let me show you. Uh, so I have my audio stereo channel where session wire is inserted, and this is perfect only to monitor uh, what's coming out of my Amazon Music app, for example, or uh, any audio coming out of your computer straight in Cubase. Uh, but if you want to record a part of a reference track uh, or some audio coming out of YouTube straight in Cubase, having the session wire plugin inserted on your audio channel won't work. And the reason is very simple. It's a routing issue. The only signal that an audio channel will record is a signal that comes from the input of the channel. So by clicking record on an audio channel, it doesn't matter how many plugins you have on that channel, Cubase will not record the effects generated by those plugins that are inserted on an audio channel. It will only record the signal coming from the input of that channel. And for that to happen, you need to open your audio connections window, click on the inputs tab, and make sure uh, that you have an audio input bus channel created. In my case, I have two. I have a mono input and a stereo input. And the stereo input is the one I'm gonna focus on. Now, it doesn't matter. It can stay to not connected. I only need that channel uh, to be created and that's it. And now from my uh, mix console, on the left side, I'm gonna have access to both of my input channel buses, the mono in and the stereo input. And on those channels, I have insert slots that I can insert plugins on, which is very useful in this case. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna insert the session wire plugin straight on my stereo input bus channel. I'm gonna make sure that the stereo input bus channel is the one selected on the input of my audio channel. And there you go. And now the signal coming out of this input bus channel is routed into my audio channel. And from this point, if I click on record, it's gonna start recording that signal. And if I wanna monitor that signal, I just need to click on the monitor button and that's it. And to listen to what I just recorded, So that's simple. You can also create an effects channel track or a group channel uh, by making it stereo once again, set up the routing to no bus, insert the session wire plugin straight on this effects channel, and from my audio channel, select that effects channel as an input, okay? So instead of stereo input, I'm gonna go and look for my FX16 in this case which is the channel I just created. And there you go. And that will also work. So again, it's just about the correct routing. As you can see, I work a lot with the control room when it comes to mixed references. And if you wanna know more about what the control room is in Cubase Pro, just watch these videos. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. Share, like, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Until next time, take care and see you.